Tonight, local leaders expressing encouragement over the economy. Areas in the east continue to lag behind other larger cities in the state. Cities like Greenville, Jacksonville, and Rocky Mount all perform poorly in many categories compared to other cities. WNCT's Josh Birch joining us from Greenville City Hall with more. Josh. Yeah, Angela, the economy is actually what uh, City Council right behind me is talking about during their retreat. And those I spoke with earlier today say that many of the statistics that were presented to the City Council, that's there's more than meets the eye. When it comes to improving the economy, it's a team effort. Roger Johnson, Greenville's Economic Development Director, is focused on creating jobs. You can do that through the creative class and you can do it through industrial recruitment. Johnson wants to use similar formulas that Wilmington employed here in Greenville, such as public-private partnerships. He also wants to increase sites available for industrial purposes, but knows there's challenges. What uh, the city of Greenville is facing is a shortage in, ex in existing uh, large building space to recruit some of our targeted industry clusters. Overall, Greenville is the 10th biggest city in the state, followed by Jacksonville at 14 and Rocky Mount at 15. But the three cities don't match up well with other larger cities in the state. Greenville, Jacksonville, and Rocky Mount rank 12th, 14th, and 15th for per capita income and 10th, 13th, and 15th for unemployment. However, Johnson says those numbers are misleading. November of 2015 has dropped to 5.7, so unemployment is trending in a positive direction for the city. Jim Cleckley, ECU's Director of Business Research, says while the economies in the three eastern cities differ greatly, industries looking to expand search for the same things. A new employer coming wants an educated workforce. They want a healthy workforce. For those reasons, areas in the east are already at a disadvantage to places like Asheville, Charlotte, and Raleigh. Cleckley says he's seeing a trend that's concerning developing in the state. Raleigh, Charlotte, Charlotte I-85 quarter, and uh, that concerns, should concern everybody, certainly east of I-95, but everybody in the state of North Carolina. Now, all of this data was presented to the city council at an earlier meeting in January. They also got data, all the studies brought data to them for taxes and all these different types of comparisons between the 15 biggest cities in the state. To read all of that, visit our website, wnct.com. Live in Greenville, Josh Birch, 9 on your side.